Hi guys, Duras here. The DLC Lightning Strikes pack for DC Universe Online has just come out. I have bought it, made my character, and this will be a first impressions video of me going through the tutorial level while talking through what the powers can do and if I like it or not, how it compares to the DLC for Green Lantern. And yeah, that'll be it. Enjoy the video. Right, um, I picked the obligatory flight and hand blast power set because I've got no imagination. Nah, it's me because I just find that the most entertaining. But as you can see already, the lightning tints your power as all the other powers do to a nice gold effect. And so, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's just wait for the rest of the tutorial to kick off and I can talk about some more stuff. Look at my cool character. Right, so I picked the hand blast power set because it's a nice hybrid of melee and range attack, and that's generally the playstyle I go for. And it seems to be already working quite well as the lightning set. I mean, I'm punching with gold stuff. I mean, what can be lame about that, right? Let's get some more ads out of the way. I'm already quite like the power set. I mean. Um, the Green Lantern one's cool, but the green has got a bit annoying. It's a very strange colour for me personally, and the lightning sort of white, yellow, gold thing does tend to be a bit more aesthetically appealing. Well, it appeals to me a bit more. Let's get this boss out of the way. I'm quite eager to see what the actual powers are like, because um, I when I first heard about this DLC pack, I thought lightning. There's not much you can do with that, I and mean, you can zap people. And zap people again, and you can continue to zap people. Um, I couldn't really think of anything else to do in terms of the power set, but I heard that this will be a healer role, and that immediately made me think, wow, okay, I like to be a healer, or I like to be a cool healer, and healing people with lightning does sound cool, so let's see how it plays out. It's breaking out my stun there. Right, and the obligatory cutscene for actually getting my power. Uh, never mind the wind, I'm right next to my window, so you might hear a weird breeze coming through every now and then. Right, let's see what the powers are like. So there's voltage and amperage. Let's see what voltage does. So yeah, you do you do less damage and healing and that play versus player bonus looks quite impressive. I mean you can increase your damage by seventy percent. And you can easily beat fire and ice. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna do is just gonna scroll through each of these powers eventually. I mean, this is just me reading them, but eventually I will just scroll through each of them, and you can pause the video at certain points if you want to read the powers. So this seems to be quite damage focused by the looks of it. So, all right. That's quite cool. That's quite cool. and amperage. So amperage seems to be the same on the surface. So yeah, you got like pretty good PvP buff. Yeah, these powers do seem a bit more impressive to me. You can pull people in, you can push people away, you can buff or you can do a bit of control by the looks of it. Hmm, I think I'll pick this one. I mean, I do quite like the idea of healing with a lightning power set. And this one seems to be a lot more damage oriented. So I'll probably end up going for the other one. Yeah, I'll go for this one. Um, it's probably worth saying I'm playing this on the PC, but I am using an Xbox 360 units. controller, which is plugged in by USB. So um, I just find that way, way easier to control the game with, apart from typing, of course. That attack did seem a bit underwhelming, but I guess it might have a different effects on monsters, as we can see later on. Quite intimidating. Not really. Alright, let's see what this power can do. Alright, not bad. I do feel quite powerful now that I have that one ability. 
does it certainly mixes up gameplay quite a lot. And they should walking these monsters up now. They better get near me. Okay, well now they can. Well, I can push them away. All right, let's push forward. Yeah, it's not getting near me now. This is still quite powerful. Although, I do plan on playing a healer, so I can imagine my damage will be reduced by quite a lot when I start that role, but still. This is, okay, I'm liking this. I'm definitely liking this. Another one of my concerns where it will be a bit too similar to the lands and power set because I was thinking they didn't add any more powers to begin with because I didn't think of ways to make them unique, but right away I can tell this one's a lot more range focused. I just got hit by falling debris there. But yeah, this power definitely right off the bat seems very, very different from the lands and power set, which I guess stands to reason, but I was just a bit worried when I heard about this one coming fairly soon after the Lantern Powers set. I was thinking, oh, I hope it's just not a skin of the Lantern Powers. But it doesn't look like it is, so yeah. I think I might even like this even more than my Lantern. Which is saying a lot, because um, when DC Universe was first announced, I thought, I'm going to make myself a Green Lantern character. And then, of course, they didn't give us the option until fairly recently, and I thought that would be my main, that will be it. But, I don't know, this seems very compelling. Obviously my DC comic knowledge isn't that great, but I still find it a bit odd that the lightning power is associated with, with Flash. I thought Flash is all about running fast and generally moving quickly. I didn't know you can generate lightning. I don't know if you can, but at the same time it does kind of suit him. I've just never seen him do anything related to lightning. I have been reading the new 52 stuff lately though, mainly because of this, even though they're not even related. but. I mean, that's kind of a cool comic series. I kind of segue now, aren't I? Let's get some out of the way. And then leveled up again. Right, yep, so I picked Hand Blaster. I probably will go to the range attack because I do seem quite range focused at the moment, so I'll just get a charge blast to start off with. I wish I could fight all those people. That would be kind of cool. Right. So just like in the other power, doing a weapon power attack, in this case charge blast, will change depending on your like your actual superpower. I mean the actual effect stays the same, but the aesthetic changed. So I'm choosing a giant golden ball of energy. Come on, that's awesome. Right, unfortunately I missed the timer on this, so I'm going to wait for it to sign, try and stun me again so I can destroy it. There we go. Hmm. So I appear to do sort of stomping animation whenever I do my normal attack without flying. That's kind of cool. Damage to this vessel continues to mount. Destroy the escape. Right, this is getting quite trivial now, so let's just mop these guys up. And they don't even have a chance. Okay, maybe he's had a bit of a chance, but yeah, about a second longer than the rest of them. Oh yeah, of course, the healing barrel things. Okay, for guys who don't play DC Universe, um, there are certain environmental objects that can be manipulated and give certain effects. In fact, that was kind of demonstrated in the previous session, but still. So um, yeah, the one I'm manipulating right now is the healing barrel, so if you cut the barrel, chuck it or destroy it and it heals you and everyone around you. So basically, you break it and it heals you. There are also other ones that can make things sort of fly around in the air, or set people on fire, or freeze them. Yeah, they're all quite cool stuff, a very nice touch. 
so never mind. Ooh, it's the first boss again. My bad. Yay. Oh, this won't be much harm. Some badass ship guardian. See about your piece of piss to kill. You're in the Nexus. Destroy anything connecting the gun to the ship. Okay, you're approaching the gun chamber. I have I'm not taking these guys out. I can't remember, was it always this easy? It's the last time I made a new character, just two weeks ago, but still. So awesome. Alright, so around this time I can choose when to do what I'm just want to, so I'll form an action and my character won't do it till about a split second later. I guess that's some sort of lag. And a split second is long enough for me to get frustrated when I miss really harsh timing attacks like that. I do wonder what causes that because my PC is fairly high spec and my internet connection is alright, but every now and then my controls just whack out a bit. I'm a nice brawl of this guy and block that attack. Superman is like a different chin. You will go down with this ship. There we go. Think again, Brainiac. You can't take out the both of us. And we're not leaving until we shut this ship. This is always a favorite moment in this tutorial. This fight way the ways of these guys with Superman. I mean, come on. Pretty epic. Or is it odd because I'm wearing my normal clothes so I can be bothered to make a costume and Superman is running around in his tights? It's quite an interesting parallel. Although, if a guy like that, I wouldn't diss the tights. I mean, he can shoot lasers out of his eyes. I think that pretty much makes up for anything. I love how sort of staying in one place, like he just jumps around, pounding people, punching them across the room. I'm sort of just standing in one place, zapping people behind me. Like the last of them. Nice work. All right, guys, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty much my first ever Let's Play video of me actually talking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I guess 
if it works out, then I'll do. I'll be recording some more. I am currently working on a comparison piece, or more of a review piece, of Star Wars: The Old Republic with other MMOs, which will be uploaded shortly. I'm actually, no, it will be quite a while because I've got loads of work to do in between now and then. But hopefully before the game comes out. So let me know what you think. You can follow me at Twitter on at dmckinday or my website www.derasmi.net. If you can't imagine how to spell that, I'll probably put it in, in the comments or in the description of, of this video. And yeah, take care guys and I'll see you around.